right, guys. Second time in the saddle. It's, uh, you know, getting used to you're on your feet a little bit, but uh, I'm on a platform in a tree, tethered up. Use sticks to get up here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any faster or quicker, but you are more mobile. The cool thing about this is, although you use the tree as blocking of where you expect the animal, you get a lot of amazing longer shots. So if you kind of turn your body, so I'm assuming the deer or the hogs are gonna come. The wind's in my face right now, but I can actually turn, get my platform, get my feet attached, and I can get back all the way to over here and get that shot over there following behind me, which is kind of cool. So you're able to get all the way around. And if you want to get this shot, you just kind of move the, the scenario this way. So what the saddle does for us, it gives us super mobility. This is the shot I think we're gonna get but I can actually get this hole. I can rotate around the tree and get all this. There's that there. There's a little spot right there in the bushes you can get. You could come all the way around and get behind us with this shot, which is pretty cool. And then if you want, you can actually Take the bow over your tether and get these shots over here if you wanted to. Woo! That was a long walk. All right, guys, that's the end of the second weekend of archery for me. I was in a stand this evening and got to see a big 150 pound hog, which walked right underneath my stand. I didn't get my shot because my bow holder was stuck on my string and I went to go get the bow off it kind of uh grabbed a hold of the, the bracket as well as the bow and I couldn't get it off fast enough as well as the hog was moving pretty good it physically got to the other side of the stand that's where the wind was going and it smelt me and ran off Unfortunately, I didn't get a shot. Maybe fortunately, I did get a shot because it's 150 pounds and I'm a mile from the truck. And it was dark at night and it was hot already. And I couldn't imagine having to drag that thing all the way out. But, you know, I was contemplating it. If that bow would have come off that hook, I probably would have done it anyways. Because, you know, meat's in a freezer, meat's in a freezer. So. If you're enjoying this content, uh, if you're enjoying our channel, I really appreciate you to hit that bell icon, the like, and the subscribe button. And every time we upload a video just like this one, you'll be the next to know. The next couple weeks, we're going to be trying to get out there every weekend to sit in stands and try to get closer and closer to shooting a doe or a buck or something. Stay tuned for some more up on my journey to the woods as well as our live on every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. That's different firearms training um, tips and tricks as well as our local videos we do on a weekly basis. Again, my name is John Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of a firearms training facility that specializes in you and we'd love you to become one of our subscribers. Until next time, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line defense. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next time. Bye-bye.